Hey, what's going on guys? It's AJB here. I sound a lot better and thank you guys so much for the support. It's really cool and yeah, we are talking about how to make pucks in NHL 14. I'm sitting on 1.55 mil, so you can see I've gotten some pretty good pickups. I've gone some places without you guys, but don't worry, I will catch you up very soon. We're going to be doing like a few episode, few games every episode. And this is the bronze pack method. The bronze pack method is crazy, guys. You get 12 items and usually you get around three players. So my trade pile is nearly full, so I'm not going to like um, send everything to the trade pile, but take a look here. Let's say you sell every player for at least 150 pucks, and then every contract for 100, the skaters for 100 each, and the rare contracts for 200. You can see this guy sold for like 400, so let's say we can make a safe 200 off of him. Okay, let's just be safe. I don't have him, so I'll just send him to the collection. So 200, and then the 150 from that guy, and the 150 from the other guy. That's already a lot of pucks, actually. That's like 500, that's 700, 800, 900. This is almost a 1K pack, guys. Honestly, you have to try these bronze packs. And if you get like a rare bronze player, that usually pays for the entire pack himself. And contracts are almost guaranteed to sell at 100 pucks. So if you sell each 12 items equivalent for 100 pucks, you're doubling your money. And I say don't bother with any trainer skater training that isn't skater. So, yeah, um, don't do that. This guy, for example, he last sold for 9k. So I just say sell all these guys. You'll get these rare jerseys. Those sell for like three to 400. That's almost half the pack itself. But guys, bronze packs are gold mines for so much stuff. So, like, goalie training, you should quick sell. Any injuries, I mean, injury cards you can usually sell. But absolutely, guys, you need to try these bronze packs. And if you get a rare bronze player, again, that pays for the pack itself and then some, usually. And the players, if you just sell them for like 150 each, you're probably going to really make your pucks back still. And if you get a rare contract, that's an instant 200 pucks. So, honestly, bronze packs are the way to go if you're trying to make pucks. It may seem really slow sometimes, but you can make a good like 5k with a good day's work. Um, and filling up the trade pile as much as you can, like I have here. I still have a lot of stuff I need to continue to put in there. I have stored in the consumables. But you guys really do need to try the bronze pack method because it it really does work that's how I make my pucks with um hut roulette when I'm not like um flipping collections and stuff like that so definitely you need to try out the bronze packs I know you guys would say it's such a, like such a small investment how much could you really get out of it but it really does pay off in spades when you think about it 12 items that's pretty good 12 items for just 600 of your pucks so look into that guys you can sell some of those players from the old from like the weirder leagues the weirder leagues it's not that weird it's not so much that they're weird it's just that they're foreign like the german leagues and the national league those guys go for usually like 300 to 400 a piece so definitely try out those bronze packs guys hope you make some pucks out of it if you've had success leave it in the comments and i'll talk to you later have a great day hot roulette to come see ya